We will be looking for a total of $46 billion for 2024, and that compares with $57 billion for 2023, so quite a considerable reduction. Even more difficult in Gaza, where we have trucks still cross there being the humanitarian community, and I represent the humanitarian community. There will be 300 million people in need, 300 million people in need across the world in 2024. This figure has been arrived at by a process in every single country where we operate, where, where humanitarian agencies operate, by looking at the levels of need, counting the populations in need, compiling lists, comp analyzing them, seeing who's in need of what, and the arrival is 300 million people in need. That the pace of the military place safe for civilians in southern Gaza, which had been a... We will target for our specific needs for the agencies that I represent, 181 million of those 300 million people. And the, the difference between the two is not about need, but it is about that there are other organizations, notably the Red Cross and the National Red Cross Societies, Médecins Sans Frontières and others, who go out with their own appeals and their own responses. To reach through some roads which are still accessible, which haven't been mined or destroyed, to some people who can be found. So I think the Middle East as a whole, adding Gaza and West Bank in, is probably going to be the area of greatest need. But Ukraine is going, to go, is going, to, is going through a desperate winter and a war that will restart in full swing next year, and it will need a lot of attention. As you know, wrote yesterday to the president.